Getting better at arithmetic takes practice. That's an obvious statement, but I just want to say it one more time. Getting better at arithmetic takes practice. And I think it's important to say it because you might feel like you're just not making any progress. I remember one night working on these matrix problems. I had to find the matrix inverse. And the process of doing this requires a ton of arithmetic. You basically have this matrix and you have to put it into what's called reduced row echelon form. And the amount of arithmetic involved is pretty insane. This was in a pre-calculus class. And I stayed up really late. And my goal was to get to the point where I wouldn't make any mistakes. So I would do a problem and I would make some arithmetic error and say, no, 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 I have to do it again. I am not going to sleep until I get better at the arithmetic. Next thing you know, it was like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night and I'm still making mistakes and I'm thinking, no, this is not acceptable, right? I have to learn how to do this. I have to get better at arithmetic. So I stayed up even later. Next thing you know, it's like midnight and I'm still making mistakes. Long story short, I went to bed, I failed, and I felt like I didn't get any better at arithmetic. The next day I tried it again and I still made mistakes. And when the test came, I think I ended up doing okay. I didn't make any mistakes and all was good. But the point is, no matter how much I practiced, I just kept making mistakes. And I think that is something that happens sometimes when you're trying to get better at arithmetic. It feels like you practice and you practice and you practice and you just don't get it. So if you're trying to get better at arithmetic and you feel like you're just not getting better, you keep making mistakes, take a break, come back to it another day. In that story I just told you, I did do okay on the test, but sometimes I think with arithmetic, you just need a mental break. But you do get better with practice. You do get better. I once taught this little special session for students who were competing in this contest. And there was another teacher there who was formerly a high school teacher. And she was an arithmetic whiz. I remember uh, explaining stuff on the board and then sometimes she would interject and explain stuff too. And her mental prowess, her mental calculations were just insane. So after the little short teaching session, I said, hey, how are you so good at arithmetic? How did you get so good at it? Like, what, what did you do? And she explained that she was really good at arithmetic just from years of teaching high school. Before she taught college, she spent a lot of time teaching middle school and you know junior high. So there was a lot of arithmetic that was being taught. And so she learned through teaching, through practice. So that's a good example of someone who became really, really good at arithmetic just through practice. But again, for people like me and maybe like you who don't do tons of arithmetic, certainly not as much as a person who's teaching, you know, middle school, it takes a little bit more time and a little bit more practice. My arithmetic is pretty good, but you know, I'm not one of those people that can do like insane arithmetic in my head, but you can become that way through practice. I recently saw this movie. It was uh, a great movie. It's called The Man Who Knew Infinity. And it's about Ramanujan, who uh, was a great Indian mathematician. He was literally a genius. And there's a scene in the movie where there's a British mathematician and he's doing some arithmetic. I forget who he was and what the arithmetic was. But I remember watching that scene and thinking, wow, wow. Who does arithmetic like that today, right? I mean, the guy was just a whiz. That's because back then they didn't have calculators and so they were forced to get good at arithmetic. Now you might be watching this video and thinking, what's the point of learning arithmetic if you have calculators? Well, it's really good to be able to do stuff in your head. I do arithmetic all the time at the store. Like if I'm at the store and I'm comparing prices, I do arithmetic. And sometimes if, if I don't wanna do it in my head, I'll, I'll pull out my calculator, but at least I know the process. As a really simple example, just two days ago, I was at the store and I was buying yogurt. And I was trying to decide, should I get the big yogurt, it was Greek low-fat yogurt, or should I get the small little yogurts? So I took the price of the yogurt and I divided it um, by the number of ounces, and that gave me um, the price per ounce. I did the same thing with both the big yogurt 
and the little individual yogurts. And to my surprise, the price per ounce on the yogurt was approximately 18.9 cents for both the big yogurt and the little yogurt. So I thought, well, I'm going to get the little yogurts because they're more convenient. I can just have a little yogurt. I know exactly how many calories I'm having. I know exactly how much protein I'm having. And I don't have to like weigh it out to figure out, you know, how many calories and how much protein I'm getting, right? Because I watch my diet. I eat very, very clean. So it's an easy way for me to track my calories, track my protein intake. And I was able to do that by just doing some mathematics. Now, it wasn't mental mathematics, but that process I learned just from doing math. So there is value in arithmetic and learning the process of arithmetic. So even though you might not feel like you're learning, at least you're learning the processes and you're learning how to do math. And I think it's a good thing. It helps you in life. It helped me pick out the best Greek yogurt two days ago when I was at the store. So yeah, that's 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 pretty useful stuff, I think. That's a direct impact on the quality of my life. So now when I want yogurt, I can go to the fridge and I can grab a little yogurt, right? I don't have to take the big one and measure it out. So it's a huge benefit. It, it saves me time every time I go eat. Why? Because I learned some mathematics. So just a practical use of arithmetic, even though I did use a calculator to do the computation. Anyways, arithmetic. You can get better at it. And if you're watching this video and you're thinking, I, I just can't get better, you can get better. It just takes a little bit longer, I think. Your mind has to be fresh. When you're doing arithmetic, your mind needs to be sharp. So if I think back to that story I told you when I was working on those matrices and I stayed up late, I, I told myself, no, I, I'm not tired. I can do this. But it doesn't matter how many times I told myself that I wasn't tired. It doesn't matter how many times I told myself that I can do this. I couldn't do it. Why? Because I needed a break. Hopefully this has been helpful and just don't feel defeated. You can get better at arithmetic. Just practice, practice, practice. There's no secret. It's just practice. And there's different ways, by the way, of thinking about things. So the more you practice, the more you'll start to develop new ways of multiplying and adding in your head. You know, simplifications and shortcuts you can take to do mental computations. And everyone's different. People do them different ways. You figure out what works for your mind and what the best way to think about it is for you. Uh, I have a friend who's really good at arithmetic and a lot of times we're, we're doing computations and she'll do it before me. I'm like, oh, she's beating me and I'm supposed to be good at math. And she'll do it a different way. I'm like, oh, wait, how'd you do that? I'm like, no, no, I think about it like this. And she'll think about it a different way. So different people think differently about arithmetic. So if your friend or your teacher is teaching you a way to do arithmetic that you don't quite understand, it's not their fault. It's not your fault. It's just that you think about it differently and that's okay. Do what works for you and get better at those mental computations. Anyways, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. I don't have any arithmetic courses, unfortunately, but I do have higher level math courses. I have algebra, calculus, um, some advanced calculus, abstract algebra, etc. They're on my website, mathsourcer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, which is really reputable, but if you do decide to get some math courses, please use my website, mathsorcerer.com. I think the easiest course I have right now is a college algebra course, which doesn't really have a focus on arithmetic, but it's got a lot of good mathematics. And if you're not a subscriber and you found value in this content, consider hitting that subscribe button today. I hope it's been helpful. Until next time, go do some mathematics.